do something about some makeup and get that glow on that's going to make us feel and look healthy, vibrant, and alive. So join us for a semi get ready with me where I'm going to show you what makeup I use and how I get this glow. It's another fake it to make it video. And I've done my eyes because I want to concentrate mainly on the glow. And that's what I think keeps this face more alive and have our skin just look a little more healthy, right? So I'm going to show you what I did first. Now, first I wash my face with my normal, um, I think they call them halos, and they're a pad that has certain fibers. But that I haven't had makeup on in a couple of days because I'll tell you later. But after I wash it off with cold water and I get my face nice and clean, I don't use any soap or any oils or cleansers or anything, just this pad. And it does exfoliate and do everything that you want it to do for your skin. I have very, very, very dry skin. I'm going to start that off. But after that, when it still is moist and not, not wet, but damp, I usually put on my moisturizer. And normally that is my holy grail that I've used since I've been in my 30s. And my good old Nivea in the tin jar. It is a cream. And when you put that on, you don't just pat it on. I think sometimes because I've used it for so long and I've massaged, you massage up and you have to rub it in. So I think sometimes it's not like putting a syrup on where you gently pat your face. I don't do that. I massage. There's 43 muscles in your face, ladies. And if you have to work out with your other muscles, why not work out these face muscles? I've always thought that. So... The Nivea goes on, not a big glob of it, but enough to make my skin feel so good. And that's what I need. Today, I'm doing something a little different because we're talking about the glow today. And I wanted my face to glow, not be greasy, but to glow. And so what I did, another one of my very faves is Vaseline. Now, this is a tiny jar. This one is Moosey's, I believe. And it's the healing gel with the cocoa butter. I don't think it's any different from the regular one. Now, don't be afraid of everybody saying it's got petroleum in them from the oil fields and everything. That's not true. And if you listen to Dr. Dre, who I love, she will tell you that it's a refined petrolatum. They would not put pure pet petroleum in a something like this and have ladies use this I think since the late 1700s we've been using Vaseline as my mother did and as I was brought up because of my skin I took just a little layer of this and I use this when I'm slugging too and I put it on my face on top of my Nivea and Vaseline is called um oh, what's the word an occlusion now, an occlusion is something that will keep your moisture in and it, it sort of acts as a barrier that it won't let anything else into your skin, but it won't let the moisture out. Love this Vaseline. And many of the time I'll walk around all day with just Vaseline on my face or go to sleep at night and leave it on. But what I have loved for probably six or eight months now, and I think that I might just stay with this. I don't buy expensive products because... I don't think you need to. It's a wet and wild photo finish dewy foundation. And I use the color soft beige. I have my Nivea on. I have my Vaseline on, just a little layer of Vaseline all over my face. And then I put my dewy foundation on. So that's it. So <clears throat> can you see a, a glow of some sort coming through or a radiant something that normally <laughs> at 86, I don't think we'd have too much glow, but it's the old fake it to make it look, right? I have three <clears throat> sticks here, two sticks. Actually, they're all highlighters of some kind. This is definitely a glow highlighter. It's by L'Oreal and... But one of these is of a light bronzer, not a real dark brown, but sort of a light brown bronzer that I put um, on my cheek, in the back of my cheek. And this one is a light, 
um, a semi highlighter, a little bit under the eyes. You want the area under your eyes to, to look bright, a little bit lighter than the rest of your face. And my, <laughs> I have another holy grail here. This is my uh, L'Oreal highlighter. It's a luminous highlighter, I think they call it. And I have used this for probably a year or two now. I wouldn't go out without my glow. And this is the final step. The glow that I put down the nose up here on my cheekbones going up and down here on the chin. And that's what gives you your final J-Lo glow, I think. Now, J-Lo does make her own makeup, but it's $30 or $40. This is only under $10. Let me start and show you how we do this. Now, I will take the darker one. And by the way, I'll put all this down in the description box below. These sticks come in a pair. And I think you get both of them for uh, $12.98. I've bought them two or three times now when I run out. And it has a little brush on one end that you can use. I use my fingers. I'm a finger gal. And the other end is your color. I'm going to put this behind the cheekbone going up. I'm doing this just to show somewhat of a hollowness in the cheek. I do this to emphasize the cheekbones, which is where I put the glow. So... Now, I will rub this in. I also put it up here because I see a lot of the ladies do this. So you see this in all the demonstrations. You want color, right? Now, if I really knew what I was doing, I would high, uh, put some of this on the side of my nose. I'm just doing this now. I can't even tell what I'm doing here. I'll go look in my mirror. And what this does is it defines the nose a bit, kind of narrows it if that's what you want. So let's see if this works. Now at the same time, I will put my lighter one, as you can see, under the eyes, maybe a little bit here, down the nose, a little bit up here and here. Okay, so now I will use my fingers to rub all this in. Now, my daughters always tell me, Mom, don't forget to blend, and that's important. Now, I like the shine on the tip of my nose. Why? I don't know. I think uh, Wayne Goss says, lose the shine on the tip of your nose, ladies, because you look like a, a lighthouse. But <laughs> I like it, so I'll leave it. Blend my chin and blend this in, go up on the edges of the eye. So now the light parts are blended in first, and now you're gonna go for blending of the darker parts. I'm gonna look in my mirror back up here a little bit. Now this I don't think needs too much blending. As you can tell, it's not a really dark bronzer. It's a lighter one, and I think just enough to, to give a little bit of definition to my face. Now, I'm working here without my glasses, ladies. <laughs> I actually pulled a hair or two out of my, my head. I can't believe I did that as if I uh, could afford to do that, but it was getting in my eyes here. Now, this color, I believe, is called Slay Rose. I'm not sure, but I will tell you in the description box. Now, this is where you get the real glow, and I just love this. Um, I have another secret where I put it, too. All right, I'm going to start on the cheekbones. Now, I kind of smile a little bit, put a little bit there, but I go up. Smile a little bit there, go up. On the forehead again, down the nose. Don't forget the lighthouse here. And down here. There. Now, we blend. A little bit up here. This had, didn't come out too awfully dark. Maybe I would put some more there. Blend across here a little bit. Just pop a blend on the nose there. Blend in down here. And this is what I do. I don't want to rub it off. I just want to blend it in so you don't see the edges. Do you see the glow yet? Do I look like J-Lo yet? Now I would put the lipstick on. 
and my favorite lipstick that I'm using now. Now, when fall comes, I switch to a kind of a copper color, which is like a 25-year-old favorite of mine that you can still get. But um, I do like uh, shiny, not shiny, but uh, chrome-type lipsticks. Now, this particular one is made by Revlon, and the top, this is what it looks like. And the color is called Iced Amethyst, and it's a very dark, plummy color, which I love. But I'll tell you what I do. I think it's only about $6.95. You can get it on Amazon. It's nice and creamy. Oops. And now, here's one of my secrets. Now, this is what I do with the lipstick because it really is too dark. I don't like it this dark. Sometimes I do, but normally I don't. I go over it with my glow stick. Glow everywhere, ladies. I do one side. Now watch what I do. Not up here on the cheekbone, but right under the cheek. Do you see what I do? Do you see the lipstick coming out with the glow? Now I'm gonna do this side. And now I'm going here. We have to look here because I don't wanna cover up my glow. But now I have just a touch of blush on the cheeks, not up here on the bones. I know my my application technique is a little different from what everyone else says, but now I'm going to blend and I pull it down and maybe put my hands in here just for a little rosiness. And you see how it tones the lipstick down? Now, so many people love the color of this lipstick, and I agree, it's different and nice, but... <laughs> But it doesn't look the same unless you put the glow stick on it. So I always tell the ladies that I do put the glow on top of this iced amethyst. So, oops, no, it's not the finished look yet. I do have a pencil that I use, and it's an essence pencil. I did buy a black. It's called Stay and Play Essence, and it's a very cheap pencil. Uh, it's one that you have to sharpen, and that's the only thing I have against it. Sometimes when I sharpen it, it gets too sharp. Not sharp, but some of the, some of the pencil stays on there, and it kind of hurts my eye when I apply it. I only put it under my eye, and I did notice that in the first reel, it was too dark, so I tried to kind of wipe it out. But I also use it, another place where I'm losing hair, is in here in between the eyes, and... So, I put it here, strokes going up to fill in where I'm losing it, and a little bit on my tail. <laughs> you know what I mean. There. And I think that's it. I hope my eyes don't look too dark, but do I glow? I don't know, maybe a lot of you don't like too much of a glow, but try it because glow is sort of a happy color, if you could call it that. And I just think it makes us look a little bit healthier and alive, which I'm very grateful for at 86. And that's the makeup, ladies. <laughs> As I said in my hair video, fake it to make it. And, you know, we, we all don't have to wear makeup. And we don't. I don't wear it every single day. Some women say when they get up in the morning, they just feel better when they put some makeup on. Now, this this is a, a, a pretty fancy look. Ooh, I just got the glow. When I looked in my mirror, I saw my glow here. Um, I As I told you, I think I mentioned that I didn't wear makeup until, what, three or four years ago, not even four it was when I started my YouTube and I started watching all these ladies. The reason that I didn't was because 
my skin, and, and I have to tell you, I don't think I've ever seen anyone with skin as dry as mine. And I'm, I'm like a fish. I have scales in the wintertime on, on my legs. When I remember when I was in high school and college, I wore the knee socks. Thank heavens knee socks were in in those days because my legs were so dry and flaky. They were terrible. No matter what I did, it wouldn't go away until the summer came and I started putting the um, the vinegar and the uh, uh, grease, the oil from the kitchen and go out and bake myself, my skin with the vitamin C from the sun, I guess, and all the oils of the summer was were wonderful. When I was a baby, my mother bathed me in cod liver oil. I had to drink it. I, we did everything for my skin. I did inherit this from my father. So by the way, speaking of genes, you, you can't rule genes out, ladies, with the way your skin is. We inherit a lot of things from our parents, our eye colors, our hair colors, the, the shapes of our body and everything. The reason that I started doing makeup was because I had finally developed uh, on my sides of my cheeks some of those sunspots from the Jersey Shore that I absolutely loved every summer. And uh, I didn't have them all those years. They never came out until I hit my late 70s and 80s. And I thought, wow, I've got to find something to be able to cover this up. And, and that's when I started using makeup. I wouldn't put any powder on my face. So ladies, if you use powder on aging skin and you are not satisfied with it, lose it. Get some good moisturizers. Try the Vaseline. Try my Nivea. And, and and some nice dewy makeup. Blow along with me and feel good about yourself. Makeup is not necessary and we have many days when we want to be just au natural. But I tell you, when, when I want to feel a little better as myself, like today, I will put a little makeup on. And guess what I have right now? I have a bladder infection and a kidney infection. Yes, I feel a little bit better today, but you know, when you start those pills, I have been prone ever since I uh, started aging to bladder infections or kidney infections. I think a lot of women do. And a year and a half ago, my, my hubby Moosey uh, had a pain in his back and he thought it was his normal backache, went on and on. And one night, in the middle of the night, he went into sepsis, scared the heck out of me, had to get the ambulance off to the hospital. Thank God they got him in time. Kidney and bladder infections are no joke, ladies. So when I get a nagging pain, a little one, or, or a fullness feeling in my stomach, I'm sure a lot of you know that, go to the doctors. I did that right away um, two days ago, and I've been on that... Um, antibiotic. Sure enough, they did urine specimens and it it was developing. And it takes a while to go away. So uh, I, w I wanted to put a video up uh, Saturday, but it, it didn't happen. I've been in bed vegging and, and trying to get over this. And I do feel a little bit better today, especially <laughs> now that I see myself glowing a little bit. So that's the scoop with makeup, which goes along with the updo hairdos. How many of you are trying these hairdos? I know that a lot of you have been watching this hair video, the uh, fake it to make it hairdo for thinning aging hair. And uh, don't you just love these combs and forms? Let me know if you've ordered any of these things and if you're using them, I'd love to know if it's working for you. Dry shampoo, I have those pinky ball spots here and there too, and we just have to do what we have to do. As I say, I'm grateful to be here. Seize the day, carpe diem. <laughs> Pro aging's the way to go. You know, I was going through my closet this morning to see what I could wear, and I came across this shirt, which I have loved and haven't worn yet this summer. And I thought, oh, it's one of my semi kimonos. It's not an open kimono, it's a closed one. And I'm gonna stand back and show it to you just a little bit if I can. I'll back up a little bit. Look at the colors, isn't it pretty? 
I'm gonna move this a little bit if I can. I'll just step back a little. Look, it has those big droopy kimono sleeves. Pretty. And the colors are so pretty. It's not a long one, and it's one that sort of ties a little bit in the front. It has some sparkles on it, too. It goes to above the knees and then swoops down a bit on the sides. So here I am, all dressed up. We are supposed to go to um, a, a little nine-year-old grandson's birthday party tomorrow, but I don't know. I uh, We will have to drive about an hour. I don't know whether I'm going to be up to it or not. But maybe if we go, I will wear this nice, cool outfit. I love my kimonos. And uh, one of these days, I'll do another. I've done some kimono uh, videos, little fashion shows. And maybe I'll do them again because they are part of my wardrobe, especially summer. I, I wear them winter and summer. There's something you can throw over anything. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the video, my friends. I do want to mention that my hair video, Fake It to Make It, all about aging and thinning hair, how to do updos, went a little bit viral. And a lot of you joined. I have, uh, gosh, a lot of new subscribers. And evidently, a lot of you just loved it. And I want to thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for joining us and being here with us with Moosey and I on our channel. I so appreciate it. You know, when you're 86 years old, you you don't expect a huge, big audience to join you. But somehow, a lot of you who are younger in your 50s and 60s, even younger than that, are part of our family here. And I, I want to welcome you all and thank you so much. And perhaps you'll hang around and pick up some new points. You know, I am not um I am not a professional makeup person. I have thinning hair, I'm aging. I have all the problems that you have, the constipation and uh, uh whatever all the other things we've discussed. And uh I have my aches and pains and my my moosey uh has been through the mill and and it's still here, but we are so grateful to to be here at this time of our lives to be able to enjoy this big wonderful family that we have and and yes you do get down yes you do feel invisible sometimes when you're like this but darn it come on ladies do just pick yourself up by those panties whatever kind you wear and and just do the best you can. Try and enjoy what we have here. A little makeup, a little fooling around with your hair, maybe uh, uh, picking up a, a, a new outfit that makes you feel good. Pick up some new hobbies. You know, I recently have discovered that I'm loving putting old china together. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to go in the kitchen and break some more dishes and bowls just so that I can glue them all back together again. It's becoming a, an extremely good mental stimulating hobby, and I'm loving it. And by the way, for those of you who are wondering how my little froggies are doing that I put together when I broke my froggy planter, uh, I have plans, and uh, hopefully within the, one of the next videos, I am going to put together something fabulous that's going to include my succulent plants, some unusual aspects to it, and those froggies are going to be sitting in there enjoying their new life together again. So thank you so much once again. You'll see us real soon. I'm looking out there. I see a squirrel. We don't like those squirrels. They're getting my bird seed. Oh, I got to go out and see what I can do about catching him. Stick around for some more of our uh, videos. We just basically are retired, enjoying the simple things of life, our garden, our children, being together, uh, picking up a yogurt or a fast food picnic once in a while, and having some fun. We'd love to have you come along with us as we just enjoy the simple living in our golden years. Thank you again, ladies. I love you all so much. Bye for now and God bless us all.
morning on this lovely breezy morning good morning yeah some days you know i feel like a professor i had my pipe i did teach a lot going back to the army even recently in vegas selling venture capital but anyway i want to give you a little lesson in philosophy famous this is gonna be a little Latin too so hang in there the famous 1600s Rene Descartes he was known as the eternal skeptic because his feeling was if I didn't see it it didn't exist he made that correlation and his famous expression was cogito ergo Sum, basic Latin, remember? Cogito, I think. Ergo, therefore, sum, I am. Remember, sum as says, sum as says to sum. I sure do. Cogito, ergo, sum. I think, therefore, I am. So there's two lessons, Latin and philosophy. At five o'clock every day, he left his library and walked down the main street of the village to the local bar. Yes, this is a bar joke. <laughs> Thought there had to be a joke in there somewhere. It's will be, it's coming, hang on there. Rene Descartes, the eternal skeptic, walked into the bar and the bartender said, ah, Rene Descartes, the usual? And the card said, I think not. And he disappeared. Cue studio laughter. You have to be a deep thinker to get your jokes. So how about the bartender says to the stripper and the priest and the rabbi, is this a joke? <laughs> uh, many ladies did get that one. Well, I think they'll get cogito ergo so. <laughs> It's a good one. Most. There's some Latin scholars out there, don't worry. And thank you. Ladies will love it. Love you all. God bless.